Think of this as a game of tag. Oh, he's got to look at the positives in life! Whoa! Yo, we on the run already? Okay. Yo, this man's eyes, what? Think <laughs> of this as a game of tag. Oh, he's got to look at the positives in life! Whoa! Yo, there's a whole heartless out here. Freedom is beautiful yet so cool. Bro, Aaron Yeager would love to talk to you. Ooh, love that part. Uh, I gotta be honest, I'd be forgetting everybody's name. Whoa, hold on. These some weird bugs. Yo, my guy, this is not the time to be goofing around. Your boy Ray's like, hold on, everything here is suspicious. Please, nobody separate in this. This ain't Scooby-Doo. Oh yeah, they gotta ration whatever they have with that. Oh, is Emma getting tired? Don't tell me she's getting sick. Your girl is stressing. Oh God, this man needs to unlock the shotting gun. Actually, he doesn't even need a shotting gun. He's just that intellectual. And these are a lot of kids. I hope none of them die. I'll protect everybody no matter what. I ain't gonna pull an Itachi. All right, let's go get some more water. Nice. Oh, uh, he's like, wait a minute. The enemy's gonna know we need water. Oh, Norman left behind the pen. Mr. Minerva will guide us. Am I going going crazy? I don't remember this pen. I Man, I got a whole GPS system installed in the pen. These lines are Morse code. Touch me. I wouldn't use that algorithms in today's time. Okay, we got some Tony Stark looking on. If you need help, come visit me. I'm located at B0632. I miss Norman. I oh, stop it. I miss Norman too. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't touch anything out here to be honest. The adventure of Ugu. It's the Ugu plan. Oh, there's water inside these plants. And people say books are useless. Come on now. Oh, Mr. Venerva wrote the book. Gotcha. I, I gotta go back and watch season one. I'm forgetting some stuff. Oh, they're hunting. What? My man got the sword. Ah, beautiful night sky. We gotta get out of here. Oh, hell no, bro. I I'd be losing my mind right now. I'd be shitting myself. Oh, it's just fireflies. A lot of fireflies. Oh, crap. Oh, oh shit. No. Okay, split up. No, wait, don't split up. Oh, God, we're in the forest of death. How can this man lose track of them when he's got like 10 eyeballs? Oh, there's a trap out here? Ooh, if you fall down here, you'll never get back out. This Minerva guy's book is really useful. Good idea, let's have the monster fall in the trap. We shouldn't sacrifice someone just because we're in danger. All right, your man has learned. Ray either is either really ballsy or just crazy. Whoa, what the heck? Oh no, the hunters. Yo, this man got the buster blade. <laughs> Even the dogs can talk? What? You're too late, the others are already dead? Get out of here with this BS. Go on pursue or go something pursue. Okay, I can't really read that. Dang it, can't this man have better handwriting? Okay, well, it, in my defense, he's carving in a tree and he's running for his life. <laughs> oh no, my girl passed out. Yeah, she's stressing. Oh, she's got a fever too. Huh, this way. Fairy godmother? Oh yeah, Crone told us there are other humans outside. Uh-uh, no, nah, I ain't trusting anybody, bro. Show us your face? Good idea. Let me see some ID. Nah, no, 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 I don't think so. Stranger danger. <laughs> Hide in the trees. Maybe he'll be lucky and he'll find the master sword out here. Oh, oh, yo, look at his arm. What the heck? His arm is all the way down to his leg. Oh, uh, no, nah, he led them some. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to bamboozle them. I was the one that was bamboozled. This man got saved? Wait, by a demon dude? Hold on, are you telling me there's gonna be good demons? Damn, this man really didn't have a plan. Oh, it's a good thing we had plot to save him. Your girl puts on that brave face, but she low-key terrified. A hooded man and a hooded girl. Organization 13, oh no. You think it could be Mr. Minerva? Oh. Oh, this person is the same height as them. You managed to run away from that farm. Oh, okay, hold on, friendlies. You know what? You can't judge based on a creepy appearance. Oh, this music is kind of having me suspicious. Oh, so Sonju is the guy that saved Ray. You don't know William Minerva. Everyone's lying in this show, I can already tell. Why are demons saving humans? That's, that's my question. Ah! Oh! Okay! Yo, my man, you know what? He ain't an Uchiha, he ain't got the Sharingan, but he's just... Dang, he is so sharp! <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I feel like, I feel like Ray. Even, I feel like even if Ray tried to play Kingdom Hearts, he still wouldn't understand what the hell's going on, though. <laughs> he's like, checkmate, I figured you out! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. These guys look kind of chill. These guys might actually be friendlies. Yo, what the? Don't tell me a demon's about to become a waifu. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The suspense. The thrill. Ooh, oh, man. I knew this was going to be wild. Okay, so, I mean, nothing really too mind-blowing. Well, I mean, a few things. All right, so we out and about. 
finally getting to look at the world, but hey, what do you know? Knowledge is power. Some of the stuff that we actually read ended up coming in handy. We found out that those plants had water in it, this and that. Oh, I've seen these bugs before, you know, reading. Who would have thought? But anyway, okay, so yo, they already out there. You had the pursuers actually chasing these guys. Okay, these demons are built a little bit differently. Like, yo, what the, they look as like some hollow, heartless looking things over here. Their arms is the same. Of like their entire body these dog things talk okay but wait a minute what's going on over here we've got good demons trying to help us out now i wonder i wonder i've got some ideas are these demons that are just low-key they're like sick of killing people and they're just like you know what i want to live in peace and harmony with humans or are these demons just, I mean, they, they do be looking a little bit different. Like the girl one, hold on. She got the pink anime hair. What's going on with that? Waifu? Demon? I don't know about this, but maybe she's like, nah, there's there's grace and beauty in human life or something like that. Maybe they were outcasts. Uh, maybe they're humans that accidentally got experimented or turned into the, well, I'm just only thinking for the girl. I don't know about the guy, but the guy do be having some normal hair too. It makes me wonder if these demons over here are or used to be humans in uh some capacity but they know about the farm so like they're not strangers so i'm wondering what's going on and this will can somebody remind me about this william dude i guess i forgot you gotta remember season one was a long time ago but then again i have no excuse i, I can remember every single little detail from kingdom hearts and that was all the way back in king in 2002 ladies and gentlemen i ain't got no excuse but you definitely gotta have that kingdom hearts brain if you want to figure this stuff out like your your boy ray holy crap this man out here he's like so you're too a demon i'm just like what the hell are you talking about holy crap defeat <laughs> yo they they ain't taking no chances like we're not tied up we've got water we got stuff you know this could be okay but at the same time oh i don't know see this is gonna be wild dang ah oh, this took an interesting turn i was not expecting them to team up with demons at all i mean i guess the question of course is are they actually good are they bamboozling us i feel like they're gonna be good i mean come on you don't put characters like that in the ending credits or whatever and have them look all wholesome then they end up being evil nah so i think it's just oh all these characters are low-key playing like 5d chess every time they walk and talk it's pretty insane so in terms of the episode, you know, animation, I mean, solid, nothing really too mind-blowing, everything steady. I saw a little bit of CGI when it came to, like, the trees and stuff, eh, you know, minor stuff, but I'm not really gonna make anything crazy of it, but wow, yo, I would be terrified, I'd be dead, let me tell you something right now, I would be dead immediately if I was out here with my survival skills and tactics, nah, you know, you, I don't even know what this does, oh yeah, it's to feel which way the wind is going hey there's a survival skill that might help you people out one day but north east south west uh use the no i'd be dead bro <laughs> i find the nearest tree mark my territory and then just i don't know sleep underneath a tree yeah they're gonna okay yeah i was hoping we would like be surviving on our own for a little bit for a while but i mean okay you know we've got people helping us out and are they good are they evil i don't really know um i'm suspicious I mean, you know, you have those eerie music around those characters, so I just, I'm just wondering, what's going on? What, what is their deal? Are they going to be our new Nakama? I mean, that would be ridiculously helpful. Ah, oh, man. I've got questions. I've got a lot of questions. But, you know, Promise Neverland. Pretty good. Um, I would say season one, episode one, was definitely more, I'd say, impactful, just because, you know, we saw the whole Connie dead thing. And now it's just, okay, we're out here. We're trying to survive, make our way around, maybe find some more humans. We'll see what happens. That's going to be interesting, though. Who do we trust more, the humans or the demons? <laughs> Although I do wonder if these demon dudes are actually good, I'm curious as to how quickly Emma and Ray are going to be like, oh, yeah, you're my putty. We can trust you. Like, ooh, I mean, these guys, their whole life was basically a lie and now we're out here you know trust is going to be a really big thing trust needs to be earned ladies and gentlemen emma maybe i guess depending on the demon's backstory maybe if they got that tragic Sas sasuke backstory emma's gonna be like you know what i feel meanwhile ray's gonna be like um no they eat people for crying out loud so that's definitely going to be an interesting dynamic you'll want to twist <laughs> 
<laughs> we're gonna be trusting demons more than humans like i don't know and this the whole william dude like is is he actually around is he dead and, and what about my man norman i'm starting to think that this dude might actually be alive now i I don't know. I don't know. But yo, I, what can I say? This really, oh man, I am hooked. The series that I can make, but you know, I ain't going to worry about that. I'll, I'll wait um, for the episodes. Yeah, I could read the manga, but uh, let me enjoy the visuals or whatever. So guys, what I want to know in the comment section below, of course, is the promised Neverland. What do you think? Any theories, any idea? You think these two demon characters are actually going to be good guys? Are they going to be bad guys? Do they have their own plot? What is their, what's going on with them? They just like, you know, Felt like switching sides. I don't know. Favorite character so far? You know, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a big, massive thumbs up. That helps me the channel out quite immensely. You already already follow me on my Twitter. Same thing on my YouTube channel, which is Ed the Wisdom. Also on Instagram, which is Matt Swag 12345 where I post all the good stuff. Discord, the link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, I will catch you later. So peace. I won't stay tight. You won't